Here's what we got done on this project so far. We did the demo on the project, got a lot of the vinyl wall installed on the bottom. We're doing the tie back systems now. I'm gonna do this in several videos because it's a pretty good sized project. We got an upper wooden retainer wall going on up here on this hillside coming in next. If y'all would subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell up top, the notification, and you'll be notified when I post the next video. Like and share. Thanks, that helped me out. Trying to get all the debris cleared out of this corner right here. We got to tie our return wall into the neighbor's wall so we don't have any leaks in between the two walls. Trying to get a good flat area that we can connect everything to and get this piling set for the return wall. We got with a two inch, 12 foot pipe. Got a four inch uh, pump running that thing because. A lot of dry soil conditions up here on this uh, hillside. Running a little bit of garbage down there. Bart's down there trying to get it removed. And then we'll get the uh, eight inch, 25 foot long piling installed. Got a lot of the poles installed today. Now the guys are installing the triple two by eight rough cut whalers. This is the lower whaler, which is uh, four foot down from the top whaler. Top whaler will be set approximately about seven and a half, eight foot high. Hey, it's pretty cool when you're working on your project and you happen to look out in the water and all of a sudden see a barge going by. Happens to be one of your barges headed to another job. That's Tanner and crew right there pushing to the next project. Got some lumber or something down there. You got a jump down and get a chain run and get it out. Never fun. Here's time-lapse video of the progress of the day installing the 16-foot vinyl sheet pilings. I wish I could get them to work that quick, but probably be a little too dangerous. Y'all enjoy. big thank you to Kenneth and his crew over here for coming over helping us out with the whalers. They've been installing the triple two by eight whalers on this project. You see we got an upper and a lower about four foot apart and our wall is about eight foot high. You see them running all the way down now we're coming on with the vinyl sheet pilings. 16 footers. Here's some of Kenneth's craftsmanship right there. He really takes pride in the work he does as well as most of our guys do. But he definitely does a good job. No custom fit there around that piling. We're gonna run a through bolt through that whaler, through that piling, and through the other side of the whaler to tie this corner together real securely.
front coming out of the north on us right now. Some pretty cool looking clouds. Filthy drill has no power getting through the pilings as long as you got on the lower gear setting. This is day four on this project, actually constructing the wall. We've got the uh, 25 foot, eight inch pilings installed. We got the uh, 16 foot and 22 foot sheet pilings installed, the double whalers, all the tie back system installed, and we've got dirt coming down now also. The old decking here and trying to fill in the gap here where we put the wall in, gonna get it married back to the front of the wall so there's no gaps in between here. This is the existing ramp the customer had coming down to the lower section. We're going to demo this and uh, build a new ramp in there, but we're going to go ahead and tie back the outside wall that's leaning into our uh, piling joint here with some uh, stainless steel uh, tie back rods. Y'all stay tuned for the completion of this job. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and you'll know when it comes up. Like and share. Thanks.